going to talk about Bodhidharma's bloodstream sermon. Everything in the three realms is created by our mind. Our mind is the Buddha. Beyond this mind, you will not find another Buddha. To look for a Buddha outside of our mind is impossible. This sermon contains five main questions and answers. We will briefly go over them. Hopefully, it will help us believe that our mind is the Buddha. The first question, why don't we see this mind when a person's body dies? Bodhidharma's answer is, the mind is always present. You just don't see it. Our mind is always with us. Our eyes see form, our ears hear sound, our nose smells odor, our tongue tastes flavor, all the movement and our state is our entire mind. That's our miraculous awareness. We just don't know that is our true mind because we're attached to the external forms. So we do not know that is our true awareness. We are in this physical body that has life and death. But even when we die, our true mind never dies. It's pure and genuine. It's everlasting. A master Guang Qing, he is a prominent Buddhist monk in Pure Land Buddhism. When he passed away in the age of 93, his last words were, no coming, no going, nothing happening. Why did he say that? Because he's talking about our true nature. Our true nature have no birth or death. So no coming, no going, and it's permanent. The pure land is actually our mind. That's why nothing is happening. Our mind is really beyond the limitation of this physical body. Number two, if the mind is present, why don't I see it? Bodhidharma says, all appearances are illusions. The only reason we do not see our true nature it's because we are attached to all the appearances. We think this physical world is the only reality. We forgot we have this divine nature because we are so caught up in our life situation. Maybe it's poverty, maybe it's sickness, maybe it's depression, because we think they're so real. We cannot believe that we have this Buddha nature. We totally forget and we cannot believe who we really are. That's why we never see it. So right now is to know that all appearances are only made from the mind. Nothing is real as we perceive. They're like what's happening in the dream. If we're free from all attachments to appearances, we will match with our Buddha nature. All we have to do is to let go our clinging to the outside situation. It does not define us. We are a divine Buddha. We just have to believe and see beyond what is going on right now. Number three, why shouldn't we worship Buddhas and Bodhisattvas? Bodhidharma says, the Buddha is your own mind. Don't misdirect your worship. A lot of people or other religions, they might judge Buddhism thinking we are worshiping statues. Bodhidharma is telling us we are not worshiping a statue. We are only worshiping to know our own nature. Again, all appearances are illusion. So the Buddha statue is also illusion. We only bow to remind us we are the Buddha. There's no Buddha outside. If you always seek Buddha outside with the conditioned existence, you will never find the Buddha. If a Buddha or a Bodhisattva suddenly appears in front of you, do not embrace it or attach to it because they can easily be demons who disguise themselves as Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. Our true mind is empty of any forms. As long as you have a form, you will not succeed in seeing your own nature. If you recite a lot of sutra, you hold a lot of precept, you bow to the Buddha all the time, you will have good karma, but you will not find a Buddha. So let go of your attachment 
to the Buddha images, even sutras. Everything here, they are just words to help you understand your own nature. None of the words are for you to attach to. They are only here for you to see who you really are. So let go of all the forms and you will find your true nature as it is. Number four, since married laymen don't give up sex, how can they become Buddhas? Bodhidharma says, I only talk about seeing your nature. I don't talk about sex. We are married laymen. Can we still be Buddha? Bodhidharma is very straightforward. He says, laymen are Buddhas too, if they find their true nature. If you do not find your true nature and you shave your head, you are only a fanatic, not a real Buddha. Real Buddha is someone who knows who they are. When you see your own nature, sex is immaterial. You will not enjoy having it anymore because we are only in this physical body. Even if you still have habits remaining, it will not harm you because our nature is essentially pure. It can never be corrupted. As long as you have a renounced mind, you are a Buddha even if you're a layman. Number five, butchers create karma by slaughtering animals. How can they be Buddhas? Bodhidharma says, I only talk about seeing your nature. I don't talk about creating karma. This is talking about people that have done bad deeds, like a butcher killing. But who doesn't have a past? Nobody is born a Buddha. Everybody has a dark side. Everybody has bad thoughts. But that doesn't mean they cannot be Buddhas because the nature is within all of us. Nobody is lesser than a Buddha. So we have to see beyond the karma. Karma is conditioned existence. All the good deeds create good karma, bad deeds create bad karma. But that's not the ultimate liberation. The real liberation is seeing your nature. Then you go beyond karma. There's something that is beyond the karma that we're seeing right now. As long as you go back to your true nature. In conclusion, doesn't matter when you die this lifetime, doesn't matter how you are in your life situation, doesn't matter if you worship Buddha or not, doesn't matter if you're married, doesn't matter if you have done a lot of bad deeds, all it matters is you see who you really are. You are the Buddha. Your mind is the Buddha. Buddha is your mind. There's no Buddha outside of your mind. There's not the mind without the Buddha. That is what Bodhidharma, the first patriarch of Zen Buddhism, is teaching us in this bloodstream sermon. We are truly descendants of Buddha's bloodline. If you can believe in it, then you are the Buddha right now. You don't have to do anything else. The practice is only condition arising. It's not the ultimate result. The result is you are the Buddha. That's all you have to realize. That's all you have to know. So that's the class for today. Thank you for listening. Amitabha.